Hi, <laughs> OMG. I was shook by the elimination. I wasn't rooting for her, but I was shook by the elimination because I thought that that lip sync was one of the best I've ever even watched on the whole show. It was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed uh-huh. it. I hate that candy look, but I like the makeup. Something about the makeup speaks to me. So she thinks Tina deserves to say more than she does, really? Is she acting? That's sort of shady. They're painting her real shady. Cause she's like, I just can't believe I sent her home, but it was so fantastic to lip sync. Loved it. <laughs> she's sort of, she's sort of shady, but I think that's her. fine. She it's earned. Like she won the lip sync. She, she earned it. Yeah. According to the judges. She, she assassinated Elliot and she assassinated Tina. Who are the most annoying contestant. <laughs> <Oop. laughs> Ruth's using too much banana powder. There I said it. <gasps> the makeup. Oh, have you not seen this yet? No, I haven't watched the first 10 minutes. Oh my God. First of all, I love those palettes. Did not know Norvina was a person. Wait, does she come in here? Maybe. Are you spoiling trash? I don't think it's a reveal. It's not like, (laughs) girl, this has been out since Wednesday or Tuesday. (laughs) I'm not spoiling a goddamn thing, girl. Yeah, Norvina's a real person. It's Anastasia. I think her last name is Soiree. I'm not sure how you say it, but Norvina is the daughter of Anastasia. So she's the current CEO. Well, first of all, I want to be her. Does she come in with purple hair and a latex dress? Cause that is so her. Let's just say she has the boobs that I would have if I were a uh, CEO. <gasps> yeah. Yes, yes, there she is. Oh my God, with the glitter, with the purple hair. I want to be her. Tits out. She's so rich. I know. I want to look so rich. I want to look disgustingly rich like that. Just wearing diamonds. Diamonds and a dress. Diamonds that I just throw away. Welcome to the stage, Amanda Xabaraz! Hello. Tonight's stream is sponsored by Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. Ding. This is so silly. I want to do this. It looks fun. This is adorable. Oh, they're in pairs and the hands are yeah. someone else? Yep. I, didn't, I didn't catch that. Oh, that's pretty hair. Don't mess up that hair, girl. The hands. The hands are <laughs> too big for her. Utica's <laughs> arms are <laughs> giraffes. <laughs> she looks like a Muppet. That was so good. It's got to be got Nick and Utica. What? I cannot believe that. That was so funny. That was one of the best mini challenges I think I've ever seen. It's your earrings. Yes, Amanda. the pot earrings. Uh, They're so pretty. They're like $3 from Sheen. <laughs> They're gorgeous. I am so excited for Valentina. Valentina. <laughs> I can't wait for all the mask joke. All the roses, all the masks, all the <laughs> fan favorites. The, the M&Ms. There's so much, there's so much material there. Uh, Actually, you don't love, love me. me. <laughs> You're right. I never said I did, dear. Why would you say? I, why would you say that? <laughs> Just kidding. I adore you. I'm obsessed. Most thin-lipped comment I've heard all day. Oh my God, Amanda! It is so nice to have you here. Uh, Thanks for having me. I'm so excited for this. Thank you for joining. Oh my gosh! Not not Ellie Diamond drama again. The lineup drama. I'm so the pissed about that drama. Candy what? So Candy's not going home tonight. She's going to decide the order. She's going to put herself third, be mediocre, and then be saved. She's yeah. been gloating by, mm-hmm. by the grace of the freaking producer. If she doesn't win, she is a waste. <laughs> She'll probably win, though. She can be shady. But can't she be funny? She was not funny in Snatch Game, despite the fact that RuPaul was laughing. She was not funny. I did not find her performance funny at all during Snatch Game. Mm-hmm. At what all. the fuck is she talking about? She ate a banana, so what? So did I. <laughs> I think Simone's gonna be the best. I think Simone will win again. Why was she in the bottom before? Was that the was that like the she musical could read episode? Literally anything. Was she in the bottom ever? She, yeah, she was in the bottom versus Candy, and they were both saved. Sorry, the the show has been going on for seven hundred episodes. It's so hard to remember. Yeah, this this season is so long. Who knows what happened? I can only imagine like Rose and Simone being good at this. Utica is in trouble. Yeah. Utica. I don't know if Utica is going to do something like Sasha Valor, where it's like too complicated for people to understand. Or it'll be like Snatch Game, where it was just. Oh. (laughs) It was just not. 
great. We are doing a roast tonight, and I'm so <laughs> excited that we're doing a roast tonight. Uh, we're going to be roasting all three of us. Um, oh we'll start with the. Should we start with the roast of Trashley, the roast of Amanda, or the roast of Deer? What do you? The, think? the roast of Trashley, definitely. Trashley. All yeah. right, we're going to start with the roast of Trashley. Now, I will have to say that. Um, Amanda and Deer are getting their roasts just now, but they did they did uh, they did help in uh, writing their roasts because I did want to get people to prepare, and also I ran out of insults for Deer after we did the reading challenge. <laughs> we decided to just do a Mad Libs roast where I wrote some roasts and uh, and uh, Deer and Amanda provided some words uh, for the Mad Libs, and they are going to read their roast of Trashly. Uh, live, they're seeing it for the first. They're seeing it for the first time right now. Uh, so let's start with uh, the roast of Trashly, and I think Deer is going to start. Hi everyone, we are going to be roasting this thin, thin-lipped bitch we know as Trashly right here. Um, hi, I'm Deer. I'm cute to be here to join the roast of Trashly and to celebrate all the cats she has smelled. <laughs> I remember 13 years ago when we were just frying pans and her and I would kill at my house. <laughs> I remember that. That was so fun. <laughs> How time has bitten. Cheers to you, Trashley, and may you always smooch. Uh, mwah. Thank you. That was such a good roast of me. Um, um, thank you for, uh, for inviting me. And, and, and here we are. We've got Amanda Express in the house to roast Trashly. Hello, everyone. Uh, dear, did I you want to interrupt you. Amanda again? Or could, oh, could let Amanda... Let me say one more thing. <laughs> Amanda, if you could go ahead right now. Um, um, thank you. Thank you for having me tonight, Trashly. I'm having a hung time. Your makeup oh. looks quite horsey tonight. Horsey? <laughs> <laughs> Do you fist your wig or is there a dead drop in it? <laughs> your booty <laughs> It's so limp. I just have to say, you look aroused and I'm not being loose. For real though, I twerk you. Oh, I twerk you too, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dear, any words coming from you mean so much. I just, I just, I'm, I wanted to make sure that everyone knew all the cats that you have smelled over the years. I just, like, I'm so happy that you were actually funny for once. It took, it took a mad lib, but I'm so happy you actually said something <laughs> funny. And Amanda. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Deer is hilarious. I love her. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do like, you know, you know when they roast and the person who got roasted comes up and says things. I didn't prepare any of this. <laughs> The show's back. You need to you need to shush trashly. The show is back. <laughs> Good, because I didn't have anything anything mean to say about Amanda. I think Gottmik is precious. My, Gottmik might be a little unprepared for this portion, but I think they're going to do so good. Nina West, you getting on Drag Race after auditioning so much? That was quite the feat. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean to sorry, arouse you. It's a you. sensitive subject. <laughs> sensitive because you lick feet all day. I was going to make a joke about Nina, but I didn't want to put my foot in my mouth. Or hers, for that matter. She'd want you to put your foot <laughs> in her mouth. There. There's something there if I workshopped it. <laughs> Nina West, I'm so Rose proud of Nina fine. West. She's made her way foot by foot. Her favorite snack is fruit by the foot. <laughs> fruit because she sucks gay man's feet. Can I spell it out? What would I say about Heidi? That beanie is too low on her face. Something Heidi and names Cla Heidi and Closet came from. Where'd that drag name come from? Did your makeup brushes tell it? Because you're hiding in, they're hiding in your closet. You just say I would, Heidi and Closet. Yes. RuPaul hates your name. She <laughs> hates it so much. Change That's it. Bitch. <laughs> Heidi and Closet. The only thing to hate you more than your makeup brushes is RuPaul hating your name. Wait, something around that. <laughs> Trashley's workshopping a, a roast right now. I didn't know that Joey J was still on this season. Her gap is wider than a gaping asshole. They're all gonna bomb. I just need one of them to make a fracking joke about RuPaul. <laughs> they would sure. not dare to do that. Sure. They would get kicked off the show. <laughs> they would be removed from the set. Can you imagine someone would say it unprompted? They, they wouldn't air it. They wouldn't. They'd cut it out. <laughs> 
Nina West, your fashion sense not only go west, but it's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. What? I can't believe. Utica, stop. What did that just mean? <laughs> Why are they making her like borderline delusional? All right. Um, now, we are going to be roasting deer. Um, I think I start first. Uh, I don't think the order of these matter. <clears throat> Even though it's only been 46 years, I feel like I've known Deer long enough to call her my maternal grandfather. I should also mention real quick that uh, for mine, I did random, uh, since I wrote them myself, I did random adjectives, verbs, and nouns. So uh, you should know that. <laughs> I feel like da I've known Deer long enough to call her my maternal grandfather. She is the most spiky drag queen I know. The way she rounds her face is so flowery and judici judicious. <laughs> and her wigs, her wigs are just so subdued. Deer, you are an employee to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boss. <laughs> Uh, oh, and, uh, uh, next up to the you. stage, I wel I would like to interrupt Amanda to welcome Amanda. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me again. Um, dear, I always think of another whenever I think of dear. This is why I'm flirty to rose her tonight. Everyone knows her makeup is spicy. I think the secret to her beauty is she pounds her green screen <laughs> <laughs> That or she is just naturally wet. <laughs> Dear, you seriously are a slut. <laughs> I can't read this, Kathy. <laughs> Dear, you seriously are a sloppy femme top. Love you. Thank you so much, Amanda, for noticing how lubricated I am. Uh, judging from what we've seen so far, who do we think is going to flop? And and is it Utica? And uh, yes, it's Utica. <laughs> I see Simone, Gottmik, and Utica doing poor, but maybe it's like a bait and switch because sometimes they're like, look at how worried you are and then you're the winner. I think Simone will at least be safe. I think she deserves to be safe. Fine. I, her jokes are okay. Yeah. Um, Gottmik though, she flopped last week and they were like, you're safe. So I feel like if she flops again, bottom. I just can't wait for another week of uh, Candy doing mediocre and judges loving it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me disagreeing with everything they have to say about Candy Muse. That's been me the whole season. I mean, maybe she'll surprise us and do amazing, but maybe they'll just hand her the win and we'll both, we'll all be standing here just like, I would say any of the people that have gone home, you could have interchanged Candy. That's to me, Absolutely. her impact on the season. Absolutely. Besides drama. That's all she's brought. There's but like no Utica at least, speak of. at least had that like a uh, <gasps> sleeping bag dress. And... Yes. Candy's going to wear the flattest wig anyone's ever seen. Right. She was flattening it. I saw her. <laughs> I saw her with an iron and an ironing board, just ironing that wig down. <laughs> Brushing every curl out. All body has been removed. It's going to look like that, uh, that, moment. that band member <laughs> from the Muppets. They really want us to hate Utica. They're like, we're going to make... The producers are like, everyone's going to hate Utica. Right? I would fail this challenge. I'd go home this week. I'd be like, uh, Trashly, you're a thin-lipped hoe. Same to you, Amanda. That's all I'd say. <laughs> I'm not... I just don't... I don't know. I'm funny on accident. <laughs> I, I, I think I would also... I can't tell a joke. I, would like, I don't know how poorly. to tell a joke. I, I don't know. I think it would depend. Because sometimes I have jokes that I think are so fucking funny and they're not at all. And I don't land. No one else thinks they're funny. And so I feel like depending on which of them landed and how many of my uh, my exclusive to Trashly jokes I told. <laughs> That's actually funny. You could you could do that. I thought this this joke was funny. <laughs> it's not. I love Utica's makeup right now, though. I always love Utica makeup. So much. Utica looks good. I think this outfit needs more tool. Tool that hits the floor and cascades the floor. Yeah. And when you do a dark lip, especially if you don't usually wear a dark lip, you have to overline it. You have to do it a little bit larger because dark reads thinner lipped. I mean, the tool is definitely thinner than your lips. <laughs> 
I like Heidi's look. Ah, oh, Valentina is always so gorgeous. Not Simone doing bad. I refuse to believe that narrative. Uh oh. Thank you for joining us, Amanda. It's always a bathroom to have you here. I love how holistic you look tonight. Are those new insects? I love how they are determined. You are always snatched from eyelash to mouth. Everyone always says you are observant and faithful. <laughs> These were random words. <laughs> <laughs> They're gorgeous. You got um, down right to the T. <laughs> are you going to introduce me, Trashley, or are you uh, just walking off set? Speaking of determined and faithful, dear. Thank you so much for having me. It's going to be tough to follow up that charming roast, but I will softly try. Amanda has always been dancing to me, so this roast is going to be swimming. Amanda is so flopping, she can't... <laughs> what? <laughs> Not on my stream. <laughs> Amanda is so flopping, she constantly zones out in her lipstick. I'm just pinching. Amanda, I tenderly love you. Love you, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I tenderly love you, Amanda. How do you respond? You don't love me. <laughs> How very pointed of you. It was mad, mad libros. They were great. Uh, I have something to say. If if they want to, if they want to read Nina West, all they got to do is look at that outfit. If they want to read Valentina, take a look at that hairline. That forehead is huge. Right? Let's and get some improv. Heidi in Closet is perfect. Ooh. Absolutely perfect in every way. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. I would read the hat. Shut up, Trashley. The only thing broader than Nina West's shoulders is that hat brim. Oh my god. All right, Candy's doing decent. You know what? I expected her to flop and she didn't, and I'm really sad about it. Nina looks beautiful, but that dress is just... I hate the dress. It's a lovely message, but it... It's like a cocoon. Simone bombed. But I feel like they didn't laugh at a lot of her things that were kind of funny. Don't say it. <gasps> Don't say the whale one. Lonnie's like, you should have skipped that one. I think Nina West looks like the hungry, hungry caterpillar coming out of the cocoon. <laughs> and I can't yeah. stop thinking about it. Oh? <laughs> she's going home girl <laughs> she's going home oh no <gasps> that was oh, no. that was a good response though Woo! that was good i have never seen that that has never happened on drag race before no. scott mick looks beautiful i love the shoulders that's good these are really cute she did good. Yeah. She played into the fact that she's too nice. So she's like really trying to be mean. Oh my oh, God. That was good. Oh yeah, they don't have runway looks this week. Oh, that's sad. I wanted a runway. So what do we think? Utica girl, you're in trouble. Oh, Utica, Utica is going home. But who do we think is going to be in the bottom with Utica? Simone. Simone, Simone absolutely. Utica. Everyone else did good. Yeah. No one else was bad. Just those two. And I think I think Rosé won. I don't think Rosé was the funniest. I didn't laugh the, the most. At they Rose. were laughing a lot at Candy. I laughed a lot at Candy myself. Candy was good, yeah. Um, I thought I it was dull Olivia until was the end. Good. Wait, who? Olivia who? was really good. Oh, Got, got Mick they liked a lot. I think they I liked like got, all of Got Mick. I like Got Mick. Yeah. But got Mick. Got um, Mick. Who was that? Did you say Got Mick? Who's that? I've always said Got Mick. Just like Trixie. Trixie steals everything from me. Her love of blood. First it was Joey J, now it's Trixie. They're all stealing, also stealing from, from you. Am I stealing from you? Did you have Cheez Its today? I mean, yeah. Do you own Cheez It? I can't believe you're stealing from me. No, I, I'm trying to remember, but I feel like there were people I laughed at more. I feel, honestly, I feel that one joke from Utica was enough to like, for me to be like, she was funnier than at least two other people. Utica was funnier? Yeah, for me. Wait, which joke? The RuPaul joke. It was good. It it, it, took, it takes like guts to to joke in that way. To and me, I that, was, was I that was funny. Than at least two other people, and those two other people might I can't remember who they are. Um, Simone. Well, obviously Simone. Simone probably did the worst in my eyes, which I hate because I love Simone. I thought Olivia I... was cute. 
but I didn't think it was I so funny. I thought that Rosé and Got Mick were better than Candy, in my opinion. But Candy was good. It's just I didn't like every joke, whereas like some of some of them I liked every joke. I would say Rosé, all of her jokes were good. All of Got Mick's were good. I agree. Yeah. Candy might be in the bottom three. And I would say Olivia was just a, a nice safe. I'm not sure where. I could see Olivia being in the bottom, Candy but not be... the bottom two. It's definitely Simone and uh, Utica. Which... It's so sad. Poor Utica going home, but I think it's worth it to go home for making that joke. <laughs> um, speaking of mukbangs and eating on stream, how was the stream the other day, Amanda? It was so much fun. Uh, we play Guess Who Drag Race Edition on stream. So it I love it. Like 40 queens, and then we like ask each other, like, yes, no question. Um, and then we try to guess who we got. Really She's gonna win. What? Oh, uh, she won. Wow, Candy. I am so over this, like, Candy top narrative. I mean, she, it is the best she's ever looked, and she did decent, so... It yeah. was good, but I don't think it was the best. I don't just think like it was the best. Other freaking week. They just, they live for her, and I don't get it, but I, I think don't get it either. she... When you do so poorly she so often... She wasn't the worst and she did look beautiful, so... When you do so poorly so often it. and then you bec- do above average, people notice a lot more. Yeah. Trashly notices when I, like, actually put on jewelry. Yeah, we all we all saw this coming. Once you fucking came for Rue, we're all like, yeah. Uh. She's like, I'm not sorry, my dear. You're up for elimination. <laughs> yeah, Utica, you're gone. <gasps> oh, oh nice. Ariana yes. Grande. There's no way that Utica can survive this. Yeah against Simone with four wins, like, hello. I don't think their energy matched a song. Neither of them. I would have already done, I would have done six cartwheels and three splits by now. And I would have been sent home before the song ended. I don't like that. Bye, Utica. Neither of them did good. Last week should have been a double Shantae. This should be a double sachet. (laughs) Not Simone, though. I can't, no. Simone won the season already. But that was just a not a great lip sync. That was not a good lip sync. For either. I hope yeah, I hope Utica stayed. gets one last insult in. Is she gonna say, I'll get you, RuPaul? Again. She, she gave RuPaul two middle fingers, so that was cute. When you Why think, does Ross like this outfit? That's gonna be my yeah. exit line when I get eliminated first episode. If you think you can't, you garbage can't. <laughs> <laughs> With the woo. I'm so sad. I love you, I think she's fun. I did not imagine her winning the season. So yeah, I know she wouldn't win, but it's I fine. Love she's her. going home. I I just need Candy to go home, and then I'm like, honestly, any of them can win. But yeah, thank you both for joining me tonight. It always means the world. To... Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for having. I had a me beautiful though. time. Always a pleasure. Always wonderful. Always stunning. What did you say? I said, fuck you, Ashley. <laughs> fuck you and your limp booty hole. And thank you all, everyone, in my limp booty hole. All the cats you've smelled. Girl, I I remember when we were frying cans, killing at your house. Killing at your home. <laughs> 13 years ago. But it was a pleasure having you, Amanda. Thank you for joining us. And for uh, having me. Obviously, dear, every week. Don't understand why you're coming back, but I thank you so much. I'm waiting for my contract to expire. Thank you for having me. I love you. We'll see you next week. We're gonna have love a lot of. So much. See you we're soon. here every week for the next 300 weeks that this uh, this season's airing. This season will never end. So we'll see you lots of Fridays in the future. Love you. Bye. Bye.